Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Da, 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 da. So you want to go where I know we can catch some fish? Or you want to go try a different spot and challenge ourselves? That's a dumb question. I'm serious. Because what I do out here is I know where I can go to catch fish. I know spots where I'm like, okay, I can go pick up a couple. But every time I'm out here, I try to do something different. If I've never caught a fish on a, on a chatterbait or something. Let's try to go pick up a couple. All right. Right off the rip. And then go try something different and challenge ourselves. All right, gotcha. Deal. Now, there's a three-foot flat up that way that nobody's on right now. So let me check the water temp, 61. I'll tell you what, I always go back here to catch fish. They're always in the pond right here. Since the wind's calm, let's go ahead and fish this side before the wind starts. Hopefully you don't come off. He hit it and I was like, you ready? You ready? <laughs> we get a little closer. He felt heavy. All right. All right, there we go. All right, let go, let go, let go. There we go. You got it? Oh, nope. I have to reel down to him and try to get it. He gonna come off, that's six and a half foot. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. So, um, just push. Try not to hit my line, but try to, there he goes. Oh, he ain't that big. I thought it was big, the way he pulled me. <laughs> That's the thing about these bass, they, they, they feel fly. bigger. And the way I went viral was this. GoPro highlight. <laughs> but look, this is what I'm talking about. Oops, so snail knot. He didn't come off. Look where he got hooked in the top of the mouth. That's why we tied the snail knot on the flipping hook. Because it hooks them in the hard part of the mouth right there. That's a dome shot. Yep. Right in the nostrils. Look, that, and that's hard. That's a, look how skinny that bass is. Mm -hmm. Probably a little postponed female. Man. Dude, that thing felt big. <laughs> Boom! That was a baby. It's an absolute baby. High gear ratio, seven five to one, eight three to one. When you're flipping, you want to pick up that slack really quick because them fish can run. I fish slower gear ratios when I'm fishing moving baits, like crank baits and stuff like that. Spinner bait, like a six four to one on a spinner. Five four to one on a crank. But a seven five one eight three to one. Yep. It's hard to put one one. Then you hook one on a crankbait. Anything slower than a five three is hard. You're, you're, I think five three five two is the lightest I've seen on a bait cast. Super slow. But I can see where it's beneficial. I just I ain't ever fished it before. There's one right there. See how it's moving. Might be a crappie. That's why treble hook crankbaits, you want a medium action rod. It's because you don't want to pull the hooks out of their mouth. You want it to bend and actually yeah, you don't set the hook on a crankbait, you just pull. Because you'll pull it out of their mouth. Damn. <laughs> what? 
I'll tell you, the first one I really thought it was, but then the second one I was like, no, nah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was. He's like, <laughs> his butthole puckered up. Now, what would be hilarious if I, I thump it and you set the hook and hit me right in the friggin' forehead. Sometimes I'll sit right on the back of these little stumps like that. Like right up there. And you gotta go straight to the bottom. Go straight to the bottom and leave it. And you bounce it and all of a sudden it gets picked up. 